Rapid pace developments have taken place in the last decade, resulting in unusual growth of unconventional and innovative digital financial products and services. Many of these developments have taken place in developing digital products and services, mainly relying on state-of-the-art information technologies and telecommunications that led to fast and convenient services at lower costs creating added value. Because of the rapid growth in innovative fintech globally and the success of fintech in providing services to many sectors that weren't included within the formal financial system, the success has become associated with risks that are a result of the absence of clear regulative, legal and supervisory frameworks. This is where fintech regulatory sandboxes come into play. Sandbox is one of the most common words in the fintech universe. In the financial industry, the term refers to a mechanism for developing regulations that keep up with the fast pace of innovation. A fintech sandbox or an application program interface API sandbox is an environment that innovators and testers can use to mimic the characteristics exhibited by the production environment on a real-time basis to help simulate responses from all the systems an application interfaces with. Basically put, fintech sandboxes are a safe and controlled experimental environment that allows businesses and entrepreneurs to test newly developed fintechs without directly being subject to regulatory and supervisory requirements and without bearing legal costs in the beginning, thus supporting them in entering the market faster. This enables banks and fintech players to experiment with innovative financial products or services within a well-defined space and duration. Moreover, the presence of appropriate safeguards helps in containing the consequences of failure. Essentially, the sandbox allows for pilot testing of newly developed technologies. The concept is also being used in the digital economy arena to refer to regulatory sandboxes, testing grounds for new business models that are not protected by current regulation or supervised by regulatory institutions. These testing grounds are especially relevant in the fintech world, where there is a growing need to develop regulatory frameworks for emerging business models. The purpose of the sandbox is to adapt compliance with strict financial regulations to the growth and pace of the most innovative companies in a way that doesn't smother the fintech sector with rules, but also doesn't diminish consumer protection. With the rising sophistication of fintech solutions, there are increasing levels of risk. In circumstances where it is unclear whether a new financial product or service complies with existing banking standards, some financial institutions may err on the side of caution, thereby hindering innovation. Furthermore, every organization is trying to do pilots with dozens of fintechs, and managing the process is becoming very complex. Fintech sandboxes hopefully help innovators to overcome these challenges. A sandbox acts as a layer between banks and their innovative initiatives and facilitates smooth collaboration between fintech companies and incumbents. Additionally, banks are relieved of the stress of dealing with multiple data requests, which are often the first step to solution development, as a sandbox serves as a ready reservoir of process-related information. Although this approach is most popular amongst banks, the setup and its benefits can also be enjoyed by insurance and investment management firms. The benefits of a fintech sandbox are as follows. It allows piloting a product or business model through a sandbox which will help companies manage their regulatory risk during the testing period itself. There are no restrictions or transaction sizes as the sandbox is in a user acceptance testing or UAT environment. And a sandbox could also facilitate more partnerships between legacy and startup companies. Some of the most common objectives of fintech sandboxes are Firstly, to contribute to building capacity for innovators and business entrepreneurs in the fintech sector. Secondly, to establish a specialized environment to innovate and develop businesses and test new ideas within a secured and controlled environment in the sector. Thirdly, expand in innovating and designing services, products and solutions that increase effectiveness and efficiency in fintech and widens choices for financial consumers for managing and mitigating risks associated with digital financial services, enhancing access to digital financial services which helps in achieving sustainable financial inclusion and attracting investments to the countries that are using sandboxes. Fourthly, it reduces the time needed to enter the market at lower costs. And lastly, to enhance business practices and reduce the costs of maintaining regulatory stability to ensure consumer protection. Of course, there are risks associated a few of the main ones are financial risks that are related to financial and monetary stability, compliance and operational risks, money laundering and terrorism financing risks, cybersecurity, 
safety and security of payment systems, data protection and privacy for financial consumers, consumer protection, and lastly, competition. A sandbox should be conducive to a collaborative environment that provides developers with the necessary tools to create and share codes. This could be done by developing a forum to discuss relevant topics or enabling digital hangouts so as to overcome regional constraints. Capabilities could be demonstrated through tutoring services to enable developers to create a truly customized solutions. Fintech sandboxes, in our opinion, promote innovation and growth of the fintech sector. What are your thoughts about fintech sandboxes? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so not to miss out on more.